Hi, I'm Nancy Erickson, the book professor, and today I want to talk to you about the underdog. Who doesn't love an underdog? To root for someone who's coming up from behind and looks like they're never going to make it, but they just pop over the top and win the whole thing. It reminds me of the movie Rudy, if you remember it way, way, way back then, where Rudy his lifelong dream was to go to Notre Dame and be on the football team, but he was a tiny little guy and he didn't have the football skills for college football, but he worked in various um, uh, positions on the team and was on the practice team. So he would take all the hits from the regular players. And in the end, at the very end of the last game, when they were a thousand points ahead, they put Rudy in and he made a tackle. And the whole stadium was shouting, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. We love that. We love the underdog. Unless it's you. Nobody likes being an underdog. And a lot of us have had that underdog position in life. We may not have started out with a solid family. There may have been abuse. There may have been uh, poverty. There may have been um, abandonment. All kinds of things that form your basic view of the world as a child. And we didn't have advantages that other, others have. So we have this underdog mentality about ourselves. But I want to tell you, People love an underdog. And you can take your story and tell us what you've overcome, what you've been through, what you've discovered, what you've developed, and you can become the hero. You can become the source of two things that I think people can't live without. And those two things are hope and help. So if you're an underdog, I would love to talk to you about your story and share with you some ways that you might be able to become that triumphant hero through your very own story.